Hey guys, so I literally just ended my New Year's resolutions video two seconds ago. And in that video, I told you guys that I would tell you the story of when my puppy broke his foot. And, um, this actually just happened, like, last week. So, this is pretty recent. Actually, no. I think it happened, um, a couple days before, because I just got back from seeing Lily. As you guys know, I told you in my 2019 uh, or, um, New Year's resolutions video. Um, but yeah, so this incident happened right after I went, or right prior to me seeing her. So, yeah, if she's watching this, I had a great time, and, yeah, but, so this is what happened. Um, so my mom was going to the bathroom, and she noticed that Baxter's, uh, Paul was like, you know how when dogs limp, they won't put their paw down, so they'll have like three out of four paws that they're walking on, and one will be up like this. Anyways, so, yeah, that is what was happening, and she's like, oh, Baxter, you're limping, like, are you okay? And so, my aunt, she... She's actually staying with us because their house got hurricane damage. So, yeah. But, anyways, she tells my aunt, she's like, Susan, can you um, feel his foot and see if it's okay while I go to the bathroom? And so, yeah. So, she feels her, his paw and she's like, Kim. It's broken in two. And we're just like, <gasps> like, oh my gosh, like, that puppy wasn't crying. He was not whimpering. He did not cry once. He did not uh, whimper once. He was just holding his little paw up, like, and mind you, it was broken in two. We do not know how he broke it. We're thinking because after the storm, our fence was like loose. And um, it had fallen whenever he, um, whenever he was outside. So we're thinking maybe he got his paw caught like, up underneath, um, which sounds really, really sad, but, you know, it's, like, super sad. Anyways, so we just kind of put him in this little, you guys may or may not have seen it, I do not know, it's like one of those big cages, him and Bentley share it, but, yeah. We didn't put him in it, but we, like, we left the door open so that he could, if he wanted to, go and, like, open, or, not open the door, go and eat if he wanted to. And, yeah. So, he chilled in there for, I'd say, probably about 45 to an hour so whenever we all got ready we rushed him to the vet oh 
after we had found out that his um paw was hurting we called the vet and they said oh our x-ray machines are down since after the storm but you can bring him in and we will look at it and so we said like okay you know like take care of my dog you know and so we're we take him and I decide to stay in the car with my aunt Susan because I don't like going into vet um offices because they are just to me I one I don't think they're very sanitary and two I'm not really a fan of big dogs and sometimes there's like big dogs in there so yeah I'm a huge fan of labs though but other big dogs I cannot stand anyways that took forever and um my sorry um my dad she called my dad, explained to him what was going on, what the situation was, and she said, um, can you give these vets or these people the, your credit card number? And he's like, yeah. And, um, they're like, we can't verify that that's him. Like, hello, he's on the phone with you giving him, giving you his credit card information. Anyway, that's all kind of besides the point. But, yeah, um, whenever the vet felt his foot, um, she said every bone in his paw is broken. And... Oh my gosh, you guys, that just is so sad to me. And to think that every bone in his paw is broken, and it's so sad because now he walks around with this huge, big blue cast on. I'll try to find a picture of it, but I don't know if I will remember to. Because I have to film like three videos back to back to back to back. So, yeah, like literally this video and my last video are within no time of each other. Like, I stop my last video and then I hit record for this video. So, yeah, guys, that is the story time of how my puppy broke his foot. And he's on medicine now, so he's all good. He gets his cast off in, like, three weeks. It was four weeks from the day this happened. But we got back from seeing Lily, and we stayed there for about five days. So it's probably, you know, close to three weeks now. But, um, my next video is actually going to be an iPhone XR review. Whenever I was um, uh, visiting Lily, I lost my phone. And so I got a new one. But I was due for an upgrade anyway. So I just went ahead and got a new one. And yeah, so my next video is gonna be a review on that and yeah and I will explain why I'm in a different wheelchair and or I did in my last video I kept I keep referencing to my last video um but it also in the very beginning has a few updates in it so, yeah, you guys um, need to go watch that because the video that I uploaded yesterday was 
a couple days old because I couldn't upload it until I got a new phone. But anyways, I love you guys. I hope you guys have a good year and I will see you tomorrow. Bye y'all. Wait, is it's still recording? Oh, I guess I didn't push the button like in far enough.